So Andy's always doing me favors. Um, I'm always pecking his head for part numbers and how do I do this, how do I do that. His help has been um, so valuable to me. So today I thought I would help him out by coming over here and taking one of these lovely roof rack racks off his hands um, and allowing him to revise um, on how to install them. So, cause I think he needs to practice. So I've allowed him to help me install one of these racks to my van. Basically, these are Victron panels. Um, there's two apertures, um, pre prefabricated, ready to go, Victron panels only. Um, they're absolutely beautiful size. They, they are basically the perfect length, but that is in turn the width of the vehicle. Um, little gap there for the Max fan, bit of decking up here. Um, sit on there, put a roof box up there, that kind of thing. And that is the that is the gap there that will line up perfectly with the side ladder. These racks look the absolute nuts when they're up. Um, I mean, it looks the absolute nuts when it's on its trestles, if I'm honest. Um, little gap in here for a light bar, LED light bar across the front. This is going to change the look of the van. Just, oh, honestly, I can't wait. Guys, rare opportunity to fill you in. Got a winch on the cross member up there. Absolute dream. So while the roof racks aren't that heavy, I think this comes in at 60 kilos naked. Um, while they're not that heavy, obviously it's so cumbersome. You wouldn't, you would not be able to just manhandle something like this up. It's just, just too big. Obviously, it's almost the length of the van. Got a winch in place up there. Um, I'm doing a little time lapse with a GoPro right the way up there. Um, that'll be part of my time lapse video for the complete build once it's done. So look out for that one because I'm hoping that one will be a good one. Basically, we've now got the roof rack up. We've pre drilled the Victron panels um, where they're going to live so that um, once we sat the rack on, we'll basically put that on, bolt them up from underneath. Uh, I'll show you the bolts shortly and how we are actually bolting it to the van. But basically, we've got the rack in the air. I'm going to drive the van in now, jig it left and right so it's perfect as possible. And then what we're going to do, we're actually going to sit it down on some real thick Celotex blocks. Um, because then what we can do is we can both jump up on a ladder, either side, talk to each other, and at the, pretty much at the same time, remove a block and then make sure that the metal is sitting on the track of the van and not scuff in any of the pretty paintwork. Let's go. Bit more, mate. Hold it there. So guys, um, we are making use of the OEM Mercedes-Benz roof rack rails. Uh, my van didn't come with them. So I ordered them because I knew I was having one of these racks. Um, so basically you bolt a bit, like a, a bit like a really posh chrome uni strut. So that's what it looks like. Um, I will take you up there and show you, but that's what it looks like. Um, but it's, it's pre-bent to the perfect curvature of the van. It's absolutely lovely. Um, we're making use of that. And then what happens is these slide into that U-channel. Our roof rack sits over the top. Um, and the holes obviously line up lovely. And then we bolt that, and as that bolts, that clamps the rail to the rack. Absolutely lovely. Now, these roof rails are pre-installed before you start your conversion. Um, if you're ordering a brand new van, tick that box. Um, if you've got a used van like me, get them ordered because it's one of the first things that go in uh, way before your insulation and before your ceiling panels, that kind of thing, because you actually bolt them in from the underside. Um, so, yep. 
that's how we're doing it. Let's get up there and get it done. So this is the factory Mercedes-Benz roof rails. It comes with a little joiner. Um, I'd imagine from this bit onwards would be even longer with the long wheelbase. I'm sorry, the footage is hard to explain, but there's a big roof rack in the way. Um, so I've got one, two fixings. The opening for the ladder, one, two fixings. So basically, there's my bolts ready. From this end, which is an open channel, I'm basically gonna slide these fixings in like this. And then when this part, which has obviously got the hole in it, when this part sits over them and is bolted, that will pull up on this. Um, I don't know much about metal, but these are actually laser cut stainless steel. Absolutely lovely, will never rust, will never let you down. Careful now. This is totally rad. So we're just doing the side ladder now. Um, I'll take you up top side and show you the fixings. So like I said before, we're making use of the, the tracks, the Mercedes-Benz um, roof rack rails. And then the ladder has, it uh, uses the same kind of like plate with the stem of Fred on it, but then there's a cylindrical washer that pushes it um, above the roof height. And then basically this ladder sits on like that. It looks absolutely fantastic. Look at that. And then we're just gonna get in here now and drill off. Um, there's like an angle bracket here that drills to the sill and then you bolt the ladder to said bracket. And then now 120 frames a second, mate. I don't know what that means. I'll press the red button in the top right corner. <laughs> The biggest of overlanding chap could climb that, no problem. Absolutely no problem. <laughs> so guys, back on the driveway. Um, the wind is causing absolute havoc up and down the whole country. So hopefully this audio is um, good enough to make the cut. Here we are, we're back on the driveway. Um, I've had a little bit of time to digest it as well. I didn't have time to even to do an outro um, while I was getting this fitted. It looks the absolute nuts. Um, I'm gonna put a link to um, Pinky's Custom Fabrications down below. Um, go check them out on Instagram. It looks absolutely awesome. Now, what I will say is these racks will be available, made available um, through Ape Adventure Vans. Um, DM Ape Adventure Vans or Outfit My Sprinter down below. I'm gonna put a link to both of them. Um, but what I will say is at the moment, it's mid wheelbase only and it's this rack. Um, there's no, but I've got air conditioning or I want this, I want that. This rack is available. So that's using two Victron 140 watts um, solar panels. They were supplied by BSPK Solar. Um, I'll put a link to him down below because um, he's got loads of cool, um, all the blue stuff, you know, all the pretty stuff. Um, they were supplied by him. It's this rack. Um, pretty much you can choose between a Fiamma awning or a Thule awning or no awning at all. But apart from that, if you want one of these it will be this rack max fan at the rear it just looks amazing it has just changed the van totally 
it's it's probably the most aggressive exterior um, modification I've made and it just looks nuts. I'll take you up on my ladder and I'll show you my roof. So check it out guys, we've got a deck section up here in case I wanted any kind of roof box or to pretend that I'm going to sit up here because that is just not um, not the easiest thing in the world. Gap for the Max fan, absolutely awesome. I'll probably put a roof box along there, that kind of thing. Two 140 watts um, Victron solar panels and those bars there, those flat pieces, they are ready um, to take the plates for any of the awnings that are available. They do a flat section for a Fiamma or um, the Thule awning. Light bar fitted. It just looks absolutely lovely. Light bar looks the absolute nuts. Now, you probably hear the engines running. That is by design. Now, I have wired my light bar through a relay um, and it comes from a part of the van that sends a live signal only when the engine is running, not just when the ignition's on. Now, what I find is every time I go out to the van and open the door, the ignition comes on. Um, so if you left your light bar in the on position, every time you open the door, the light bar would come on. Now, you don't want that because it will drain your battery quick snap. So um, I've hooked it up to a part that is on the actual engine on. So if I turn the engine off and that light bar is still in the on position, it will still cut it out, which I think is absolutely great. Um, I think that is the best way um, of avoiding flattening that battery. So here it is. Absolutely chuffed the nuts with it. Please join me next time. Um, hopefully it will be next Tuesday. Subscribe, like, comment, 